The Butter Battle Book by Dr. Seuss On the last day of summer, ten hours before fall, my grandfather took me out to the wall. For a while he stood silent, then finally he said, with a very sad shake of his very old head, As you know, on this side of the wall we are yooks. On the far side of the wall live the zooks. Then my grandfather said, It's high time that you knew of the terribly horrible thing that zooks do. In every zook house and in every zook down, every zook eats his bread with the butter side down. But we yooks, as you know, when we breakfast or sup, spread our bread, Grandpa said, with the butter side up. That's the right, honest way, Grandpa gritted his teeth, so you can't trust a zook who spreads, br who spreads bread underneath. Every zook must be watched, he has kinks in his soul. That's why, as youth, I'm made watching my goal, watching zooks for the zook-watching border patrol. In those days, of course, the wall wasn't so high, and I could look any zook square in the eye. If he dared to come close, I could give him a twitch with my tough, tufted, prickly, snicky, snickberry switch. For a while that worked fine, all the zooks stayed away, and our country was safe. Then one terrible day, a very rude zook by the name of Van Itch snuck up and slingshotted my snickberry stitch. With my broken off switch, with my head hung in shame, to the chief Yukuru in great sorrow I came. But our leader just smiled. He said, you're not to blame, and those zooks will be sorry they started this game. We'll dress you right up in a fancier suit. We'll give you a fancier slingshot to shoot. And he ordered the boys in the back room to figure how to build me some sort of triple sling jigger. With my triple sling jigger, I sure felt much bigger. I marched to the wall with great vim and great vigor. Right up to Van Itch with my hand on the trigger. I'll have no more nonsense, I said with a frown, from zooks who eat bread with the butter side down. Van Itch looked quite sickly. He ran off quite quickly. I'm unhappy to say he came back the next day in a spiffy new suit with a big new machine, and he snarled as he said, looking frightfully mean. You may fling those hard rocks with your triple sling jigger, but I also ha now have my hand on a trigger. My wonderful weapon, the jigger rock snatch'em, will fling him right back. Just as quick as we catch em, we'll have no more nonsense, we'll take no more gup, from you yooks who eat bread with the butter side up. I have failed, sir, I sobbed as I made my report to the chief Yukuru in the headquarters fort. He just laughed. You've done nothing at all of the sort. Our slingshots have failed. That was old-fashioned stuff. Slingshots, dear boy, are not modern enough. All we need is some new-fangled kind of a gun. My boys in the back room have already begun to think up a walloping whizzinger one. My bright boys are thinking they're on the right track. They'll think one up quick, and we'll send you right back. They thought up a great one. They certainly did. They thought up a gun called a Kickapoo Kid, which they loaded with powerful poo powder and ants' eggs and bees' legs and dried fried clam powder chowder, and they carefully trained a real smart dog named Daniel to serve as our country's first gun-toting spaniel. Then Daniel the King of Pooh Spaniel and I marched back toward the wall with our heads held up high while everyone cheered and their cheers filled the sky. Fight! Fight for the butter side up! Do or die! Well, we didn't do, and we didn't quite die, but we sure did get worsted, poor Daniel and I. Van Itch was there, too, and he said, the old pig, the boys in my back room invented this rig called the Eight-Nozzled Elephant-Toted Boom Blitz. It shoots high-explosive sour cherry stone picks, 
and will put your dumb kickapoo kid on the fritz. Poor Daniel and I were scared out of our wits. Once more by Van Itch, I was bested and beat. Once again, I limped home from the wall in defeat. I dragged and I sagged and my spirits were low, as low as I thought that they would ever go. When I heard a boom ba and a diddle dee dill and our butter up band marched up over the hill. The chief Yukaroo had sent them to meet me, along with the right side up song girls to greet me. They sang, O oh, be faithful, believe in the, thy butter, and they lifted my spirits right out of the gutter. My boy, smiled the chief Yukaroo, we're just voted and made you general. You've been promoted. Your pretty new uniform's ready. Get in it. The big war is coming. You've got to begin it. And what's more this time, you are certain to win it. My boys in the back room have finally found how. Just wait till you see what they've puttered up now. In the great new machine, you'll fly over that wall and clobber those butter down zooks, one and all. Those boys in the back room sure know how to putter. They made a thing called the utterly sputter. And I jumped aboard with my ha with my heart all a flutter and steered toward the land of the upside down butter. This machine was so modern, so frightfully new, no one knew quite exactly just what it would do. But it had several faucets that sprinkled blue goo, which somehow would sprinkle that z those zooks as I flew and gum up that upside down butter they chew. I was racing pell-mell when I heard a voice yell, If you sprinkle us zooks, you'll get sprinkled as well. Van Itch had a sputter exactly like mine, and he yelled, My blue gooer is working just fine. And I'm here to say that if yooks can goo zooks, you'd better forget it, because zooks can goo, can goo yooks. I flew right back home, and as you may have guessed, I was downright despondent, disturbed, and depressed. And I saw just as soon as I stepped back on land, so were all of the girls of the Butter Up Band. The chief drum majorette, Mizuki and Sue, said that was a pretty sour flight that you flew, and the chief Yukaroo has been looking for you. I raced to his office. The place was a sight. Have no fear, said the chief. Everything is all right. My bright backroom boys have been better than bright. They've thought up a gadget that's newer than new. It's filled with mysterious moo like a moo and can blow all these zooks clear to Sal Magoo. They've invented the bitsy big boy boomeroo. You just run to the wall like a nice, like a nice little man. Drop this bomb on the zooks just as fast as you can. I've ordered all yooks to stay safe underground while the bitsy big boy boomeroo is around. As I raced for the wall with the bomb in my hand, I noticed every last yook in our land was obeying our chief Yukaroo's grim command. They were all bravely marching with banners of flutter down a hole for their country and right side up butter. That's when Grandfather found me, he grabbed me. He said, you should be down that hole and you're up here instead. But perhaps this is all for the better somehow. You will see me make history right here and right now. Grandpa left leapt up that wall with a loopless leap and he cleared his hoarse throat with a boppless beep he screamed here's the end of that terrible town full of zook sweet bread with the butter side down and in that very instant we heard a clup clup of feet on the wall and an old van itch clupped up the boys in his back room had made him one too and his f and his fist was another big boy boomeroo I'll blow you, he yelled, into porks and wee beans. I'll butter side up you to small smithereens. Grandpa shouted, be careful. Oh, gee, who's going to drop it? Will you or will he? Be patient, said Grandpa. We'll see. We will see.